Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, Sam and Max died and became zombies. Also, Flint Paper is inside the zombie factory causing a ruckus, but he's kind of hating on zombies, so zombie Sam and Max can't talk to him. Also, Sam and Max's souls are still in there, and we can't really do anything about them because their souls are angry at them for some reason. It's kind of weird, because you'd think their souls would be totally be them. I guess souls have their own personality or something. Anyway, I would be back at the office right now, but... Beer Force has given me an idea by randomly mentioning these scissors that we got, these bolt cutters. Can we take this off? Look away, Max. This is the kind of vandalism that turns your stomach. Nonsense! I embrace all kinds of vandalism! Convenient that it took off the base as well. So, I was wondering what the super antenna was for. We still don't know what it is, but nice that we're getting somewhere, I guess. Are zombies allowed to drive cars? I don't see why not. My license is just as expired now as it was when we were alive. Yeah, let's head back home. Did they just kill you, stupid hand? Shoot. Did they just clip through a zombie as they were parking? I think they did. So I guess we're gonna have reason to get Jesse James's hand back now. Hey, Bob, you just can't come into our office and take what doesn't belong to you. Oh, that is like the black pot calling names at the cattle, which is also black. It's different when we do it. We're professionals. The zombie's beer stein. Go away, Hooligan. Uh, make me. Uh, rats only. Good bouncer. Beat it, deadbeat. It's a free country, pal. You know, technically speaking, are these zombies really doing anything wrong? I don't see any reason they can't just hang around. We're sorry, we can't understand you. But if you'd like to share the magic of SOL with your new zombie friends, feel free to keep driving. Zombies walk funny. Wait, you're trying to do business with zombies but you can't understand them? That... I don't think that's going to work out terribly well. I hope losing Jesse James's hand taught that zombie a lesson about stealing. Or at least about casing the joint first to make sure the owners aren't home. Have you tried the cops online service for zombies yet? Yeah, I keep getting spammed with job offers from mad scientists. That sounds fun. The neighborhood doesn't seem to be affected by our sudden unexpected death. I expected some celebratory banners, at least! I should probably should have talked with everybody before choosing that option. Oh well. This dying business has reminded me. I need to sign my organ donor card. Ooh, leave me your cornea, Sam! But you have perfect vision. What's your point? Keep on shambling. Let's start with Sybil. Whee! guys yeah whatever so I think I've narrowed it down to two guys but I'm still not quite sure you didn't meet any cool guys out there did you sort of maybe I am being picky Sam I just don't want to keep making the same mistakes with men 
I know, Sam. I'll use it once I've narrowed it down to one finalist. Why aren't you... Uh, maybe I forgot what the soulmater does. Doesn't it tell you if you're soulmates? Or does it make you soulmates? Keep your hands away from that, you filthy, disgusting creature! Featherly's here, by the way. I can't understand you, my good man. Diction, diction. What are they doing? Make them stop. No, please. I need that. Those aren't your guilt. Think positive. I already tried that. Try. Think again for the very first time. No! Not the priceless tiki head! You're fun. No! Don't touch that sign! No! The fox is innocent! Please, not the tickets. We're supposed to take tickets. Strange. A freak mishap has defaced every single one of these Lincoln photos. Hmm. I'm not going back in that closet. Not after all we've accomplished. Well, let's try out some of these things. That doesn't need cutting. Worth a shot. It's entirely possible. Yeah. What are they doing? That one of these items we've been getting is actually useful here. He's scared of us enough as it is. <laughs> That's too gruesome even for a zombie to do. What about for the chicken? That's too gruesome. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll move on. Zombies eat free. Sure. Let's order everything again. Help! Someone help! Um? Concern it, he's too fast. Great. Flint paper was hard enough to get by. Let's talk to Lincoln over here. Oh, great. Zombies. As if my day couldn't get any worse. Poor Abe. Looks like an old-style sun lamp. Don't just groan and point. Do something! It's Jesse James's reanimated shooting hand. Surly, even in death. Hmm. It's Stinky's Gooey Molasses Tarcade. Whee! But we can't have it. It's just a pie. It's not something you really talk about. Interesting to see this place by this angle, by the way. Now, what could we use? Well, I suppose we could try the shootout option again. Shoot first! Hmm. Fine, shoot her. Better not. Hmm. 
Jesse James's hand was just never as fond of liquor as his mouth was. That's only good for vampires. He's way too fast. I'd never get close enough to use them. I'd feel better about a fencing match if he weren't carrying a gun. <laughs> fencing match. That might be something to keep in mind for something. That's too gruesome. I was thinking about cutting the ropes. No siree. That's only good. Yep, good for zombies. I can't condone. Can't condone drinking. Can we walk over here? No, we cannot go past the bar. Stinkies is no fun when you're dead. After you've been crushed, buried, and forced to claw from your own grave, the horror of this place seems mundane. Since we became zombies, nobody can understand a word we're saying. And that's different... how? What do we do about Jesse James's hand? We could try to find Robert Ford's hand and let them shoot it out. Hmm. I suppose since we're already dead, we could eat here without the danger. The danger is the only worthwhile thing about Stinky's food. What's the first thing you're gonna do when you get your soul back, Max? I'm going to watch hours and hours of reality television, just to show it who's boss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, no options here either. Well, you know, there is something we kind of forgot. I should probably grab it just in case. Let's quickly make a trip back to it, Sam. the zombie factory. By the way, I can't help but notice that there's no longer an option to go to the TV station, so I'm gonna assume that the cigarettes are no longer useful. Let's go to Stuttgart. Gonna quickly get over here and get the holy water back. There's a bottle of holy water in here. Cause it might be useful. What for? Don't know, but it might be useful. No further this way, thank you. Offer some holy water. Getting him wet would only make him angrier. No, I want to save this after Max went to all that trouble sanctifying it. Can we use it on... No, I want to save this. What if Lincoln was important to this situation? Nah, I want to save this. I can't condone drinking. Oh well. Oh! Hello! What if? That doesn't need cutting. Aw, but there's like a padlock. We could totally use the bolt cutters to get in there. Oh, that's, that, that was a smart idea. And then it wasn't. How would you like to improve your wireless internet capabilities immeasurably? I wouldn't. Care for a bribe? Nope. I don't shoot rats. Not unless they're moving. The lucky vermin. Well, I'm going into the Sam Max's office for now. We're still kind of finding stuff, so that's why I'm not quite uh, looking at the guide yet. When I'm no longer finding of anything... Uh, try it again. When I'm no longer finding anything of interest... Then I'll look at the guide. Flint's been off looking for Bosco for a while now. Well, anyway, the reason I came here in the first place is to talk to Leonard as a zombie. Hey, Leonard. 
that that didn't do anything different than normal, so never mind on that, apparently. Can we take off the piece of the North Pole and drag the gun away from Jesse James's hand? That doesn't need cutting. It was an idea. I'm sad we never got to see that. Alright, let me look at this. So, Zombie Factory, Source of Power, The Town Cowboys, You're Dead, Souls, Jurgen's Coffin, Alchemy Machine, Monster. Is there a thing that I didn't click? There's totally a thing I didn't click again, isn't there? It was a thing in that room where it's like, am I out of things to click? And I didn't click it. it. Looks like Jorgen was building himself a playmate. Uh huh. It said I can look at the body parts left of the monster. Can I not actually look at the body parts left of the monster? Apparently I can't. Well then I feel less bad about missing it then since I can't actually do anything. Also there's a power switch here, I missed that. Bringing life to this decaying lump of flesh, we mock death! We become as gods, rewriting the very laws of the universe! It lives! Our creation lives! Happy... birthday! He's almost a birthday? Holy! Well... And I suck the horror right <laughs> out of it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we can look at the body parts. Hi, gruesome. You're not Master Jurgen. Who are you? Just a sec, let me bring this stuff back in focus. Need that, need that. And that. Okay. We're from the General Wheat Cereal Conglomerate, and we think you'd be perfect as our new mascot. Would you describe yourself more as chocolicious or fruitacular? Well, I suppose I'm somewhat brantastic. We're just kidding. We're your creators. Master Jurgen is my creator. Well, we pulled the switch. Yes, and I wish you hadn't. The sleep of unlife was preferable to the bitter pang of loneliness. Hmm. Why so glum, chum? Do you have any idea what it's like being a misshapen freak? The only one of your kind? Nope! Uh-uh. It sucks. No one to confide in. No one to love. Mm, no one to smack you and tell you to get over yourself already? What's so bad about being a monster? Master Jurgen only built one. I am... Alone. You've got us! Please kill me. Ouch! Cut the perfect bride. Are we going to hook this thing up with Sybil? What's your job around here? Do you kill stuff or are you mostly decorative? Master Jurgen created me to prove his ultimate victory over life and death. Never thinking that he'd have to feed you and walk you every day. Typical. You know, I just had a thought. If Jorgen needed Sam and Max's souls, he kind of failed considering that they were so easily able to escape from the cage that I don't know how it can ho hold souls. You don't like Jorgen, do you? Well, he did give me life and tried to help me feel complete. With self-help books and weekend retreats? 
Yes, but mostly by experimenting with the items on the operating table. Your pal Jorgen turned us into zombies. What gives? I don't know the details. Uh, something about stealing souls and creating a zombie army. Why not an army of you monster guys instead? I'm a conscientious objector. Hmm. Hey, monster, what's the Italian word for an appetizer? Antipasto. Hey, monster, what do you call a ham and cheese sandwich that's been breaded and deep fried? Monte Cristo. You know, I've never actually had one of those, but it sounds kind of good. Hey, monster. Wait, let me do one. What California coast city is home to Cal Poly University? Hmm. Coalinga? You're in luck, buddy. We've got the perfect bride for you. Master Jürgen promised the same thing long ago. But ours is ready to go right out of the box. No assembly required. Sounds intriguing. Let's go introduce you to our friend Sybil. I can't go like this. What woman could be attracted to someone as incomplete as I am? Yeah, trust us. Sybil's used to guys who aren't all there. All the same, I must be fully assembled before I go. And I thought you took forever to get ready, Sam. Yeah. Farewell. Nice that he understands us. Whee! Wanna play Dr. Max? For the last time, Sam, no! Oh, with the monster. Oh, sure. Hmm. Cauliflower, feather, desert egg beater, artichoke heart. Possibly something we have. It won't fit there. Well, it's worth a shot. So are all these items hold on a sec. What are our options here? The head, the chest, and the arm. Hmm. We could have some fun with this, but I think we're going to have to have some fun with this after another episode break. So, I would like to thank my patrons for being my patrons, including my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. We'll be right back, and when we come back, we're going to perform a little bit of surgery on our monster friend here. Did we get his name, by the way? I don't think we got his name. We'll bring him to Sybil. And maybe start a love triangle with Sybil, the monster, and the head of a Lincoln statue.